One of my favorite oaks is the post oak, Quercus stellata, which has a wide range in the southeastern United States and can be found growing in good numbers in dry uplands with poor, sandy, or gravel soils. Post oak is a mid-sized oak and will usually mature around 40 to 50 feet tall with a 35 to 50 foot crown spread. It grows with a single trunk most of the time and can have a rounded to irregular crown and often has twisted, gnarled branches that may start relatively low on the trunk, which give the tree a distinctive look. The leaves of post oak can be from 3 to 8 inches long by 2 to 6 inches wide and have up to 4 pairs of rounded, deep lobes with the uppermost pair of lobes much larger than the others being almost rectangular in shape, which gives the leaf a distinct cross shape. The upper leaf surface is a dark green and lustrous and has the feel of fine grit sandpaper. The lower surface is pale, often yellowish, and covered with short, dense, stellate hairs. Stellate means star-shaped, and this is where the species name for post oak, stellata, comes from. Fall color is not showy and varies from brown to dull yellow. Post oak bark is gray and dull somewhat scaly with irregular, narrow, vertical fissures and ridges. The young twigs are yellowish and covered in dense, short hairs. I thought I'd do something a little bit different with this video and do the identification sections kind of in a video field guide style. Let me know down in the comments how you like this style of video and if I should do more of them in the future. Post oak acorns are one half to one inch long, egg shaped and have a grayish scaled hairy cap that covers one third to two thirds of the nut. They ripen to a pleasing brown color and drop from September to November and are sought out by a wide variety of wildlife. Acorns of species in the white oak group are an important food source for a variety of mammals, including deer, black bears, and squirrels. Acorns of species in the white oak group are generally lower in bitter tannins than those of oaks in the red oak group, which makes them more palatable to wildlife. If you know how tannins got their name, let me know down in the comments. Many species of birds also feast upon white oak acorns, especially wild turkeys, woodpeckers, jays, and waterfowl. The foliage of young white oak sprouts is a preferred forage of deer, and white oak leaves of all ages are eaten by over 400 species of caterpillars. If you love learning about our awesome eastern oaks like the post oak, pretend that like button is a ripe post oak acorn and bury it like a squirrel. The main key feature for identifying post oak are the distinctive cross-shaped leaves. Post oak generally hangs on to some of its leaves after the leaf drop in the fall, so this is a good year-round way to identify this tree. Species that may be confused with a post oak include the sand post oak, Quercus margaritiae, which has smaller leaves that have a smooth upper surface and a velvety lower surface. The bur oak, Quercus macrocarpa, which has large acorns with fringed caps, corky wings on the twigs, and has leaves with a rounded tip and a red oak, the blackjack oak, Quercus marilandica, which is often found growing with the post oak and has leaves with a lustrous smooth upper surface and rusty hair covered lower surface. Doug Talame brought the importance of our native oaks to insects, birds, and other wildlife to the public in his excellent book, The Nature of Oaks, which should be on every backyard ecologist reading list. You can find a link to this must-read book on the Backyard Ecology Recommendations page, which I will link in the description. Post oak got its common name because its wood was often used for fence posts. The wood is also used for cross ties, mine timbers, siding and flooring, trailer decking, and construction lumber. It is occasionally planted as a shade or street tree as it is quite drought tolerant. Post oak is fire resistant and is one of the main oak species in the fire dependent oak savannas and woodlands of the southeast and is often found growing with other fire dependent species like the longleaf pine. The post oak is just one of many white oak species that can be found growing in the forest and woodlands of eastern North America. Probably the best known white oak species is the white oak, Quercus alba, which you can learn all about in this video and be sure to take some time and enjoy nature in your backyard.